Peace, family. Thank you for tuning in to Talk Black to Me Radio. We have some special segments to look forward to in the month of February, family. Talk Black to Me Radio History Month's goal is to highlight our current black history in the now. Here on this platform, we want to pay homage to all of our leaders who have stepped up for our communities currently and also in the past. February, as we all know it, is Black History Month, but this year we're going to put a different twist on it and honor our current leaders by making content dedicated solely to them on YouTube now and not 50 years later after we miss them. Since Talk Black To Me Radio is the people's channel, you actually have a say in who we honor during the month of February being a part of the TBTN family. The voting process can be done here on YouTube in the comment section and at my brand new website, TalkBlackToMeRadio.com by clicking the Vote Now button or by filling out the poll box once you scroll down. Every Sunday throughout the month of February, the comments on YouTube will be checked as well as the poll results on my website. Here is a calendar to show how the posting schedule will go for the month of February regarding the Talk Black To Me Radio History Month segment and when you can start voting. Also, if you would like to reach out to me, you can do so through my website. First up for Black History Month, we have Grandmaster J, the leader of the Not Ethnum Round Coalition. Grandmaster J and his coalition hit the spotlight last year when they took an armed stance against the killing of Ahmaud Arbery and Breonna Breonna Taylor. They have single-handedly revitalized the spirit of the armed struggle against our oppression. Not too many people know this, but Grandmaster Jay has also run for president. Not only is he standing up for our communities, he also stood tall for the country as well. He has been able to link up most of our black militias under one banner in this push for black unity. To me, that's a big point when it comes to this push for black benevolence, and his work will go down in history. Next up, we have Trey the Truth the rapper from Houston, Texas. Trey has been holding down his community so much that the city of Houston has dedicated a holiday to the man. Quite frankly, if more rappers and entertainers actually did similar hands-on work, there would be more black love, in my opinion. He has done countless food drives for his community and even helped people rebuild their homes after Hurricane Harvey hit Texas back. He even organized a march for George Floyd and demanded justice for his death. Trader Truth will also be in the history books. Lastly, but certainly not least, we have Alicia Keys. Back in 2003, she co-funded an organization focused on helping our brothers and sisters fight the AIDS pandemic in Africa called Keep a Child Alive. Most recently, Alicia Keys has created an organization to help mobilize young people for change called We Are Here. She says she was inspired by the killing of Michael Brown and felt compelled to do something to help. What I can appreciate is that she did not want the spotlight and she let her organization push others that were already on the ground, such as the Trayvon Martin Foundation and the Equal Justice Foundation. Her work will also go down in our history books. These are just a these are just to name a few great people who have stood up for us. Leave your vote in the comment section or on the Top Black to Me Radio website and let me know who you would like to see showcase for the first week of February. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe and notification bell. Peace.